I think he just must have come out of the womb interested in sports and writing because he just ate that up. Neil's a great writer. Uh, he comes at stories from angles that you might not anticipate, but when you when you hear the story, when you hear the angle that he presents the story from, you always learn something. It's something interesting or something clever, but it's usually something that would have never occurred to me. He's ended up where he is because he's been so open to the spirit of writing, telling stories to connect people to subjects, to athletes, to each other, and really to themselves. Relentless competence and Neil has been that right just a pro a professional who shows up does the job does the job well doesn't ever miss step sports center is one of the longest running franchises among news programs and Neil has carved out his own niche within that franchise there's never been anybody like him and I don't think there will be anybody else like him to come Neil's ability to create a dazzling, entertaining show from nothing is something that those of us who've had the privilege of knowing and now working with him have come to expect. From this true pillar and towering giant, not just of industry, but of life itself. He's just such a warm individual. He, he makes you he makes you kind of giggle just being around him. Like there's always something silly gonna go on. He's always interested in what's going on with you and your family. Like he's, there's a sincerity and he's just a very genuine person. So whether that's in a friend or a colleague or somebody who's a colleague and a friend, uh, that's a pretty good trait. You know, everybody can be nice to somebody that's gonna help you or, or you put on a little show and song and dance, you know, in front of the right people and that elevates you somehow, but he'll do it, you know, both when no one's looking and when there's, you know, no benefit to him. I love the guy. Uh, he made he, he made my time at ESPN better. He's enriched my my professional life, but much more so my personal life. I love that he's has as much admiration as he does for the talent that he is, and for as good of a sportscaster that he is, and how great of a personality he is for um, being an ambassador of ESPN and the University of Oregon and the state of Hawaii. But it's him as a person that I, I take so much pride when people see that, when people see how special of a man he is, because he's the most special man that, that I've ever, ever come across. He knows I love him. He knows he's my brother. He knows all of that. But I want to say it out loud for him and all the people that are honoring him tonight. And I would want all you folks at Oregon to know that you have a treasure in Neil and that you should treat him as such because he's, uh, he's, he's not rare, he's unique. It began with his inner voice, a typewriter, and a Gallup Award for Superior High School Journalism, and culminates with this HOA induction. As sports editor of the Lewis and Clark Journal, Neil's devotion to the story and creative prose were in full display at only 16 years of age. I just opened an old faded journal newspaper from 1978 and read his column on the football team's heartbreaking semifinal loss in the state championship. He wrote, Remember, the word choke was invented by some guy who never made it as far as Seattle for the playoffs. Well, Neil, the phrase excellence in journalism might have been reinvented by some guy who made it as far as LA and who has an outer voice that could make any baritone jealous. I wish to congratulate my dear friend Neil on receiving the University of Oregon School of Journalism and Communication Hall of Achievement Award.